Come to the front, my sis. Let me speak in the mic so everybody can hear. Okay. Come close, sis. My question is in the Bible, God told Adam and Eve that they should not eat of any Okay. Everything else is given to you from the earth for me. So that means the, the nuts, the fruits, the vegetables, certain herbs. And then when he destroyed the earth the first time with uh, Noah, when he destroyed it with Noah, he told Noah to come out of the ship, out of the ship. Eat nothing that contains blood. And Jesus, when he fed on with the fish and uh, bread, was coinciding with what he told Adam in the first place. Eat nothing that contains blood. So fish don't have blood. Fish is the only thing I found that didn't have blood. Well, chicken has blood, beef has blood in it. So can you explain that to me? Can you eat chicken? <laughs> I mean, I love fried chicken. <laughs> So now, the question is, can we eat chicken? So I'm going to address your first point. Because get on uh, the video, chapter 7, verse 26 first. Because we're going to address the point about blood. So no, ma'am, we're not allowed to consume blood according to the Bible. So read that part for me. Leviticus chapter 7, verse 26. Moreover, you shall eat no manner of blood, whether it be a fowl or a beast in any of your dwellings. So now, we don't, we don't eat any blood. So now, how do we avoid eating blood? We make sure we cook our food properly. That's you right. cook the food so there's no blood left in it. So that's how you don't eat our food raw. You don't eat our food medium rare, no medium rare steak. Mm. You cook your food thoroughly now. So now your next question is, can we eat chicken? So now let's go to the dietary law. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which ye shall eat among all the beasts that are on the earth. Now verse 13. Verse 13. And these are they which ye, which ye shall have an abomination among the fowl. Uh -huh. they, they shall not be eaten. They are an abomination. So they, now, sis, we're about to go into the fowls, the type of fowls we're not supposed to eat. We don't. The eagle and the ostrich and the osprey and the vulture and the kite after his kind. So now, what do all these birds have in common? These, these animals are bottom feeders. They eat the carcasses of other animals. So now, remember one of the miracles, Jesus, remember one of the miracles the Lord brought to the children of Israel when they were murmuring in the wilderness? He brought them manna, and what else did he bring them? Quails. And you know what quails are? They're from the same family as chicken. So yes, man, you can't eat chicken. There's nothing wrong with you eating chicken. Now, we cannot eat vultures or kites or the, the pelican. We're not supposed to eat those animals. Yes, sister, you can't eat chicken. That is part of the dietary law. So now, let me ask you this, sis. Do you eat pork? Do you eat crab, lobster, shrimp? So you obey the dietary law. So now, I'm going to show you. Do, you. do you love God, sis? Okay, so now, let's, do you know what the love of God is? Come, 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 come stand right here, sis. What's your name, ma'am? So, uh, uh, so Sylvia, so Miss Sylvia, we're going to show how do we love God according to the Bible, Miss Sylvia. Read that. John chapter 14 and verse 15. If ye love me, keep my commandments. So now, Miss Sylvia, how do we show that we love God? We keep his commandments. So now, do we, do we say we love God by lip service or does it have to be by our actions? show you love God by your action and your okay. lip service. So now, by both. So first Samuel 2 and 3, and then we're going to get Deuteronomy right after that. So that just like you said, it's by your lips and, but it has to be followed by your actions, right? Read that. First Samuel chapter 2 and verse 3. Talk no more, so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are way so your actions is what's way so now we say that we love god so now there has to be an action that comes behind it to show that we love god and everything that he's he he has to tell us right so now miss silver let's see we're going to show you a commandment that our people have to keep because do you know why we're in the condition that we're in as a nation of people miss sylvia because we strayed from the laws of god it's right. simple like this the seventh commandment says what Thou shalt not commit adultery. So now, in the black community, if we obey the laws of marriage, will we have single parent households in our communities? No. Okay, will we have the highest rates of HIV, syphilis, gonorrhea, chlamydia in our communities? We wouldn't have any of these things if we honor the laws of marriage. So that's just one example. If we kept that one commandment, we'll have a complete 180 in our communities. But I'm going to show you something else, Miss Sylvia. Read that for her. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5 
The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So Miss Sylvia, what is a woman's garment that you see some men walking around with today? Dresses, like Medea, right. and you see these comedians on TV. God said that is an abomination. That's going into cross-dressing. We're not supposed to cross-dress in God's eyes, but what? That is confusion. God did not tell us to do that. Did not read the top part for Miss Sylvia? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So now, Miss Sylvia, when you're growing up as a child, how does your grandmother dress? My, grandma, my grandmother wore both pants and dresses. So, the, but how, 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 what was the natural order of our sister? Uh, look up your foot. Like when we go back to the time of slavery, and even prior to prior, prior to the to the civil rights movement, prior to the white feminist movement of the 1950s and the 60s, how did our foremothers dress, Miss Sylvia? They wore dresses, because that's how God intended us, our sisters, to dress. That's right. Because when our sisters dress in pants today, you see a lot of our sisters dressing in these tight pants. They're showing off their behind. They're showing off their figure. God said we're not. Our sisters are not supposed to do that. You're supposed to. What, what you have? That is supposed to be. Supposed to be reserved for your husband at home. So that's why, Miss Sylvia, what you're wearing right now, you're not supposed to be wearing pants according to the Bible. That is a man's attire. It's the same way how we go to a public restroom. How do you tell the difference between a man's bathroom and a woman's bathroom? By the, by the attire. The women are wearing a dress and the men are wearing the pants. So that's why our sisters, they have to come out of the pants and they have to wear dresses. That's how our foremothers used to dress, Miss Sylvia. Can I ask you a question? What do you identify yourself as? What's your nationality? I know you want with this. You ain't telling me. So, Miss Sylvia, right? Miss Sylvia. Miss Sylvia. So, we are the Jews. You know that we are the Jews. So, let me, give me Psalms 119 and verse 120. I want you to listen to this, Miss Sylvia. You gotta listen, sis. We trying to save your life. Aren't you tired of the situation we in? Mike, hold on, sis. No, don't grab the mic, sis. Aren't you tired of Mike Brown? Why, why, why are we getting the gun down in the streets? Why are we getting gun down in the streets? Mike Brown could be your son. Mike Brown could be your, your nephew. Mike Brown could be your cousin. Guess what? We 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 always want to say something, but when it happens to us. Then we want sympathy, sis. That's right. It's a reason why all of this stuff is happening. You said you know you a Jew. So what, what did God give the Jews, Miss Sylvia? God gave the Jews that you the father. The wages, the statutes, and the commandments. Uh -huh. Follow the slaves, uh -huh. which was slaved through the rock. Uh -huh. You know, see, I read. So why are you not keeping the commandments? Which we don't keep. I keep the commandments. You keep the commandments? We just read a commandment. Why are you not keeping that commandment, Miss Sylvia? The dress. You post the word dress. A dress. A dress. My job don't allow you to wear a dress. So outside of your job, you wear a dress? No. No. But you just said, Miss Sylvia, you just tried to make an excuse because of your job, but now you're saying outside of work, you don't wear a dress. That's right. I work seven days a week. Well, Miss Sylvia, guess what? You're not at work right now. You should have on a dress. That's right. So give me, give me, read that right before Miss Sylvia. I want you to listen to this, Miss Sylvia. Psalms 119 and verse 120. My flesh trembles for fear of thee. So this is King David. King David said his flesh trembles of the fear of God. If you had the fear of God, you would not be wearing pants. That's read right. Again. My flesh trembles for fear of thee. Read. And I am afraid of thy judgments. King David said, I am afraid of the most high judgments. Miss Sylvia, okay, can we're I not afraid of the judgments of God. You know the judgments. You know we went and slaved you for breaking God's commandments. You know the reason why we've been gunned down in the streets is for our disobedience, Miss Sylvia. So Miss Sylvia, let me ask you a question. What is the judgment? What is the judgment? If Christ cracked the sky, the black man, the black messiah, if he cracked the sky, what would be the judgment for wearing pants? Teach up. When God comes and he cracked that sky, when he cracked he that sky, he's not gonna judge you by no pants. He's, he's not gonna judge you by pants. No, he's not. He's gonna judge Bring you by the content of your heart. So let's see what the Bible says, Miss Sylvia. Zephaniah chapter one and verse eight.
Miss Shelby, y'all want you to listen to this right here. You just said that God is not going to judge you by your attire. So we want to see what the Bible says, Miss Shelby. And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass your future prophecy, read. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice. In the day of the Lord's sacrifice when that ICBM missile hit America, read. That I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such are clothed with strange apparel. Miss Sylvia, the Bible says if you're clothed in strange apparel, that's going to be the day of the Lord's sacrifice. You know? You're going to be punished yes, if you yes. do not repent. Miss Sylvia, give me Romans 2. Because this is what our people do. They know they choose, but they don't want to keep the law. And you know the judgments of God. You know the judgment of God. Huh? That they which commit such things are worthy of death. So the Bible says, guess what? Our people know the judgments of God. But guess what? They're worthy of death because they know who they are. Miss Sylvia knows that she's a Jew. 